Hello everybody and welcome to my very, very, as ever, perennially messy desk featuring a cup of tea tonight. Um, so yeah, I wanted to um, put up a video about Storper. Apologies for being way overdue with an update about Storper and um, the little robot that could. Um, it's been ages since I've kind of put out any uh, content or uh, updated anything, um, partly because I've been putting out the... Uh, the hex a uh, rocket kits and stuff like that and uh, just generally you know work live getting in the way and all that kind of stuff but yeah so um first of all thank you ever so much if anybody's uh, bought a, a stopper kit off me the reaction was absolutely amazing over on cindy um, and then i ended up selling a load kind of uh, in real life at um, emf camp in the uh, night market in null sector and uh, yeah response has been uh, fantastic at the night market, when I was selling actually in real life, I actually sold some of these, which I want to talk to you uh, tonight about, which is uh, a couple of uh, little add-ons that I've made for Storper. So some of these actually are out there uh, in the wilds already. And um, yeah, so um, the main event, these have actually been out on the repo for a while, but I haven't had any uh, to put up on the Tindy store and I haven't, so I haven't done a video about them. Um, but I've got a couple of new uh, little add-on boards which add some uh, functionality to your uh, Storper rig. So this big one is like an upper deck. Um, so you know that I was selling these uh, kind of laser cut uh, decks, which I'm still selling as an option with the Storper, um, uh, you know, with the main board. Um, but this is uh, exactly the same kind of uh, layout as the, um, as the laser cut decks, but it's a PCB. Um, and basically I'm calling it uh, Cludge Deck <laughs> because it's a cludging deck for doing lots of prototyping on. Um, so yeah, so we've got all the little kind of holes for pass-throughs for sockets to access uh, things on the main board. It's got the regular standoffs that match the kind of uh, standoff positions on the main board. But we've also got lots of extra uh, uh, holes for sort of uh, three millimeter kind of mount points. So if you had physical bits of hardware that you wanted to mount on, uh, you've got some options. Um, and then we've got loads of prototyping area. So all of this big bank of pads, this bank of pads, and this bank of pads are not connected but they're all on a 2.54 um, millimeter pitch uh, spacing so they're just like a regular perf board so you can solder stuff up to there for uh, you know for all your kind of experiments and add-on electronic needs and um, these two little sets of banks here and um, the two rows on each side I've connected them with a little um, with a little trace between them so that means that you can run out um, you know um, various kind of maybe supply voltage you can have one as a five volt rail one as a 2.3 volt rail whatever whatever you want and one as a kind of ground rail and um, and you can wire those back in and um, of course you don't have to use it for soldering stuff too i mean it, it works just like a, a physical kind of you know deck like any other so this has got a double taped um aa battery holder on it for my uh you know my great thing where i run those uh little um uh, um, uh, lipo, um, li sorry, lithium ion uh, batteries, and um, yeah, the yeah. So, um, so that's that. That's Cludge Deck, and then I'm gonna probably sell these as a pack together. I think. Um, this is the first of what I'm calling this sort of style of design. I'm calling it a bumper because it essentially uh, mounts into the stack somewhere like. Uh, a little bumper sticking off the front and this is actually a little kind of two-in-one bumper in that you can mount up um, one of these little ultrasonic uh, modules pretty easily um, using these four pins in the center and then uh, add a couple of resistors um, and uh, and they're, they're wired back to like pins on the adapter on the the main board there again there's examples over on the repo um, of uh, which pins they're connected to and also there's a little example code just getting the uh, the uh, ultrasonics to kind of work so yeah so ultrasonic stuff is an option and um, the second option is is um, and you can do both of these on the same board you don't need two of these to do this you can do you could have the ultrasonics and 
these switches um, on the same board. So yeah, there's some mount points, some mechanical mount points for um, little um, uh, momentary press switches. These are the nice quality uh, Omron SS5 GLs, which I actually use for various things on my Tindy store. And um, they're really, really nice. And the uh, and then the idea is, is you, there's a couple of um, uh, um, pads that you can wire each uh, back into that connect again back to, to uh, pins on the main adapter. And it basically means that you can have bump switches. The idea Idea being that you could maybe solder or glue or epoxy some kind of wire whisker on here so that when that that switch touches against something gently it activates and then in your code you write what you want the robot to do maybe reverse and turn or maybe read the ultrasonics and work out which way has got the most distance before another obstacle whatever whatever you're you're planning to do with it and um, yeah and the bumpers are quite interesting because there's no real fixed position well, there is. I mean, they fix to the to the um, uh, to the uh, the um, the uh, sort of this this pin out, and they fix on the front like a bumper. But there's no real fixed position in the stack. So, of course, like this one, you can see I've soldered pins to the bumper board, and it's slotted straight into headers coming off the main board. And then what I've done is I've sort of fabric cobbled a collection of different standoffs to kind of make that work. So there's some extra standoffs in here. Funnily on that though, on the repo, I've put up a free CAD um, uh, project, which is just a variable length. You can just vary the length of a 3D printable kind of three mil um, uh, hold cylinder that you could use as a standoff over a long bolt. And that's probably the best way to get like uh, really, really loads of different custom options for uh, for this but yeah you don't have to put this bumper on top you could put it below so for example it's a bit hard to do and i'd have to take things out but it would it would clear um you would you could mount the um the standoff uh, bolts through both of these and then use some very a very small length of pin headers to like solder it and um, directly underneath is an option or you could do the same on top yeah, really, there's there's lots of different options about um, ways that you can mount it up. So, yeah, that's that's the two boards, the uh, the bumper um, for the switches and the ultrasonics and the clutch deck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck two of these in a, in a, a bag and I'm going to add half the stock that I've got, which isn't very many. I'm going to add them as like an option so that when you buy a Storper main board, you can add this on as well. But then I'm aware that there quite a lot of people have got Storpers um, main boards out there now so what i'll do is i'll i'll list them as a separate product as well um over on the the tindy store and i'll put the links uh, in the description below so yeah um check those out i probably won't supply any standoffs with these because there's a high chance if you've got a store you've already got some standoffs as i say you might want to print some like custom standoffs depending on how you're going to set it up and also i realize that if people have bought a store on one of the laser cut boards they've got a collection of standoffs already and it seems a bit of a waste to supply more so yeah so um that's the plan so far obviously if you're just starting out there's nothing to stop you buying uh you know one of these a set of these and still the uh, laser cut one if you want to add more kind of mechanical layers and things like that um, as ever, thanks all so much for watching. And uh, yeah, it's all open source. So the design files for these are on the repo. So you're perfectly, perfectly happy if you want to get some of these made up yourselves or even adjust them. Uh, and uh, yeah, share what you do with them. That'd be great. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.